Hello and welcome to the Solar Eclipse video. This is a collective message for everyone. The Solar Eclipse new moon will be happening in the sign of Taurus on the 30th of April 2022. So we are starting a new journey for the next six months. This six months is taking us into a new place, a new energy a new everything. When we have eclipses, they're important. They are points of change. It's where our life direction, the people we connect to, the energies, the places, the spaces, who we are internally, externally, goes through a major change. And we are at this place, right? We are at this place of transformation for the next six months. So we're going to be having the solar eclipse in the sign of Taurus. The sun and the moon are in the sign of Taurus. And this collectively impacts us all. Eclipses impact us all on a major level. Now, in the sign of Taurus, we have the sun and the moon, and we also have Uranus and Taurus. And this brings about change. Okay, this brings about a lot of change. It can bring about a lot of chaos. And also feels like we've been going through a lot of change, especially abrupt change, chaos, over the last couple of years with Uranus in Taurus. Bringing in this energy where, you know, especially when we're dealing with Taurus, it's anything that we think is fixed, whether it's our job, whether it's our home, whether it is the people that we value, anything that we think is fixed, it just uproots us. That's the energy of Uranus. It creates change, massive change that awakens us to look in a new direction, to look at a new perspective, to gain a different insight. It wants to motivate you to see things differently. But in that motivation, sometimes it has to take you out of where you've been stuck, where you've been held back, where you feel like you're not moving forward. Uranus is that energy that is, will uproot you, especially in the sign of Taurus. It has to do with the ground. It has to do where we feel, this is what I know. This is who I am. This is where I'm working. This is who I'm talking to. This is where I'm speaking. This is who I'm speaking to. This is everything. It completely reroutes you through chaotic change. And that's the magic, the energy the flow of Uranus. It changes things. It uproots you in order to bring new blessings into your life. Now back to this solar eclipse that's so powerful. It's a powerful energy. When we think Taurus, we think what is fixed. We think of our home, our stability, what we value, our sense of self-worth, and it relates to Venus. And Venus is in Pisces, so it has this harmonious energy to the solar eclipse where we're really focusing on our desires and what's important and what do we feel connected to, how do we emotionally feel connected to the people, the places, what we do, what are we passionate about. That's the energy of Venus. And Venus being in Pisces is about letting go and surrendering. It's the last zodiac, so it's about an end cycle. It's about clearing out. And we needed Venus in Pisces, especially around this time. Venus is also going to be conjunct Jupiter in Pisces, right? And this is bringing blessings of love, blessings of happiness, blessings of connection, right? There's that energy of that. Venus is also, we went through that conjunction of Venus and Neptune, right, in Pisces, and Neptune is still in Pisces. So there's that whole intuitive experience of connecting to our lives through our intuition of what we want to bring into our lives, to trusting our gut, to trusting our intuition of what feels safe and unsafe. And that's important with Taurus too, because what is unsafe lacks stability. What makes us feel like this is unstable, this isn't a sure thing. And this is the same thing when we're talking about relationships and connections and where we live, what we do, what we eat. What is bringing you value? What we eat is so important. 
What we drink is so important because your body is what needs to be nurtured. So we are looking at nurturing ourselves in Taurus because Taurus is about nurturing. It's about taking care of yourself. It's about your physical body. It's about your physical needs. It's about your values, your financial needs, your relationship needs. What relationships give you support and value? What is unstable in those relationships and are on loose ground and are able to fall apart and break away? And eclipses create those changes. So this is a very interesting eclipse because there's powerful energies that are supporting, especially the ruling planet of Taurus, which is Venus. So we are looking at it from that aspect of these are the energies that are supporting Venus. Jupiter is about expansion, growth, when it comes to what you love and desire. When we are talking about fixed Zodiacs like Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, those are all fixed zodiacs, meaning that they're fixed as their modality, which means we are fixed in our desires, especially with the Taurus one that is ruled by the earth, by our value of self, our sense of self-worth, and as well as our relationships when we are connecting it to Venus especially. What makes you feel of value? This is a change that is coming through and it is beautiful. What can you manifest that is solid in your life? That makes you feel stable, that makes you feel that strong, confident, right? There's also a beautiful energy between the solar eclipse and Mars of giving us that confidence and boost of energy, especially because Mars is also in this Piscean energy. So we are looking at a lot of Pisces themes with Jupiter, Neptune, Venus on the sign of Pisces. And with Venus and Pisces, when it comes to the nodes, the nodes, the south node is in Scorpio, the north node is in Taurus, and that's what we tell where the eclipses will be happening, right? Going forward into next year is making our harmonious aspect to that, both, the, both when it comes to the north node being in Taurus and as well as the South Node being in Scorpio. So this is a fated, especially when we're talking about nodes, eclipses, we are talking about a fated process, meaning what will be, will be. What is meant to be, will be. Who's meant to be, they will be. Trusting fate, trusting destiny to take and carry you on the journey of life so that you can end up exactly where you meant to be. Venus in Pisces, once again, is making a connection to Pluto, which has just gone retrograde, so the energy of Pluto is going within, and Pluto is the planet of power, and we've been going through this since last year. In November, we had a lunar eclipse in Taurus, where our values were shifting when it came to people, places, job, finances, everything in our lives. We were going through massive changes, and given that that was a Taurus lunar eclipse, in 2021 November, the ruling planet being Venus is about our love of self, our love for the people around us. It also is an energy that can change relationships with the females within your life, right? Especially when we're dealing with Venus, we're doing, dealing with the feminine energy. So feminine energy sources, anyone with that feminine energy, basically, is creating these changes within us and how we relate because Venus went through that lunar eclipse with Taurus, right, in 2021. And then Venus went into retrograde, right, as well towards the end of last year, 2021. And Venus met up with Pluto, right? There are major times that Venus met up with Pluto, creating massive change when it came to December, January of this year, of letting go when it comes to our relationships, letting go of certain aspects of what we value. We went through that whole Venus process, especially with any feminine energies, family members, friends, colleagues, work, yourself, <laughs> the feminine energy within you was shifting. And that's the energy to be able to receive, to nurture yourself, to know your sense of self-worth. Massive change was happening with Venus. And then Venus went into Pisces. And Pisces is about surrendering, letting go, healing your intuition. So now Venus, once again, is making the connection to Pluto that is now retrograde. At that time, when Venus was in retrograde, right, in December and January, December of 2021 and going to January of 2022, 
right? Venus was retrograde, Pluto was direct, so it was creating a lot of transformation and letting go, a process of healing, a process of purging and crying and, you know, just letting go, coming to relationships and understanding all these energies that need to be let go of, of what we value and what's important because Taurus is what we value from all relationships. We're not just talking about love. We are talking about the relationships we have with ourselves and the relationships we have with others and our sense of worth and our sense of value and what's important and who do we connect to and who do we not connect to. All of those energies. And now Venus is direct, connecting now to Pluto that's just gone retrograde in Capricorn. So the energy is coming back, pulling ourselves within and empowering ourselves to understand that we've been through a massive transformation within the past six months, going from 2021, coming into 2022. We went through a massive process of letting go, of making changes, of seeing what's unstable within our lives and wanting to create stability. And this solar eclipse in Taurus is wanting to create stability for you, right? Mercury is in its pre-shadow period of retrograde. So be aware of that and keep in mind as that's when we can, we can have the miscommunication, misunderstanding. But it's also a time to make us very intuitive. So with that Pluto retrograde as well, it's pulling the energy back within to yourself. Pulling the energy back within yourself of sense of empowerment to move forward and make the changes you need to make within your life. These will be beautiful and blessed changes. Yes. And a lot of them will be stable because you yourself have evolved and went through a process of growth. And it, it, it does involve your relationships with you, with others, and who you are today, and what abundance you want to manifest in your life. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe, as well as there's a link down below if you'd like to book a reading and also a link for appreciation of these videos.